So Emily Hewitson, the uh, right-wing political commentator, pundit, whatever you want to call her, um, very conservative, very pro-Brexit, uh, tweeted something that I thought was really cool and well-informed um, recently. And that was uh, the following tweet. There is very limited evidence to support the wearing of masks. Therefore, making the public wear must only comes down to one thing. Control. Control. Emily is, uh, is standing up for all our individual freedoms. Um, and she believes in liberty, truth, justice, and the American way. And she really doesn't want people to have to be wearing masks still. She thinks it's all about control. She thinks it's all about uh, controlling the population, forcing people to be sheep and to do whatever the government wants. So, and that's, that's when they've got you. And that's when they start enforcing other things against your free will and against your liberty, violating your freedom and your rights as a good, honest, true American, British person, British person. And you know, that's those kind of things. What are, what will they be? Well, who knows? You know, it might be things like free broadband, you know, <laughs> um, free broadband, Nightmare scenario right there, 1984, all over again. But what I find really fascinating here isn't just that Emily's wrong. I mean, obviously she's wrong, and uh, here is a couple of sources that prove that, and well, I'm, I'll link a bunch of them. We'll link a bunch of them uh, below as well that you can read from various different meta-analyses and models that have been developed by scientists that prove that there is, uh, you know, masks are effective, um, at least to an extent, you know, no one's saying they're a magic bullet, no one's saying that they're this magical shield that stops anyone from getting it, but you know, they're definitely, they definitely make a dent. Um, but that's not it. What, what I think is really interesting is this idea that the way the government would start to control the population would be through making them wear face masks. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Conservative Party in this country has been very, very reluctant to enforce any restrictions. Every single time that they've been implemented, they've done it a little bit too late. So it's actually meant they've had to last longer because infections have spiraled, right? And that's almost certainly what's gonna happen with the Omicron variant. I hope it doesn't happen. I don't know, right? Um, but. They, they are clearly aren't big fans of doing this, right? So this kind of conspiracy that, that actually they love doing it and it's all about controlling people, right? Or it's the medical establishment trying to control people. It's absolute, absolute bollocks, right? But also, this is a government who recently outlawed certain forms of peaceful protest that could cause annoyance. And you're seriously telling me you think this is now, now they're trying to control people by making them wear masks. Emily, bro, I know you're smarter than this, right? I mean, come on. The government recently, you know, passed legislation that allowed people to dump sewage water. Sewage water into natural water preserves, right? Nothing to, nothing to say about that, but wearing masks, that's bad. You know, I, I just, I don't get it, man. I don't get it, I don't get it. But look, okay, maybe you say, well, the sewage thing, that's not about control, that's not about freedom, that's just about like, health, and who cares about that? The, the other thing that I just mentioned about the, the protests, that's still very much there. Got anything to say about that? Also, what about the fact that we have, uh, what is it, three or four uh, billionaires who control 80% of the media in this country? 80% controlled by a tiny handful of extraordinarily rich people, like beyond wealthy individuals. Does that not strike you as maybe an attempt at controlling the population through manufacturing consent through the media? You know, if a very, very small number of people are in control of the narratives of all of the, of almost all of the news that people consume, that's probably quite a good way of controlling public opinion. Say if one politician was the leader of a political party and they threatened your immense wealth and your power and influence over that society, you could use said influence over the media to just constantly report mainly inaccurate stories about them that were very negative so people wouldn't support them. You could do that, hypothetically, obviously never happened, <clears throat> but you could. So it's, it's a very puzzling argument that she's making, um, but hey, you know, um, maybe she's right. Maybe the government are implementing mask mandates because actually, they want to, you know, turn us all into little sheep that just 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 follow along blindly, um, and making us wear 
masks, making us take extra safety precautions is the way to do that, rather than literally almost every other policy the Conservative Party has ever implemented. So I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this. Um, you know, do you think it's batshit crazy or do you think it's stupid? I feel like those are the only two options, but maybe there are others. Uh, leave it in the comments below if you want. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. Um, and no offence to Emily Hewitson, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just kind of baffled by that. And yes, it is very incorrect. Um, the idea that masks, masks aren't effective. They are. They are. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, thank you all very much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.